Welcome back to another episode of Rook and Record, where we give you the perfect album to play with a board game. And today we're taking a look at Catacombs 3rd Edition by Elzer Games. And the perfect record to play with this bad daddy is, boom, Primus, the Desaturating 7. This is the latest album by Primus, the awesome grunge funk, but... What what genre is Primus anyway? Does, does No one knows what genre Primus is. Anyway, this is a bizarre album even for Primus because it is an interpretation of a 1970s storybook for children all about goblins eating rainbows. It is bizarre subject matter in the first place and the music itself definitely sounds like some prog rock experimental soundscapes type of stuff. It is all the awesome bottom heavy darkness funk jamming that you'd expect out of Primus, but also a lot of songs that sound like Goblin singing in the darkness, which is perfect for Catacombs. You could totally expect a bunch of ghouls, zombies, maybe some bats, and a Catacomb Lord Necromancer jamming out in the middle of some dungeon playing the songs that you're going to find on this album. Not to mention, this is where the band totally threw away the shackles and said, I don't care what you think what a rock band has to be, we're going to tell you what a rock band can be. And that's exactly what Catacombs does by saying, hey, this is a dexterity-based dungeon crawl, and we don't have to answer to nobody other than ourselves about how awesome that can be. That's why you're playing Primus the Desaturating 7 while playing Catacombs 3rd Edition. If you like this dumb series, then let me know by subscribing and thumbing up. We'll have plenty more picks here on Rook and Record by the Cardboard Herald.